Hello friends, welcome back to Sabir CAD. In this tutorial video, I'll explain the procedure to create and dimension this mechanical component using the modeling module of Bricks CAD. In the process of creating this component, you will also get some vital insights on the various concepts in 3D. In the last tutorial, we have created a two-dimensional drawing using the drawing and editing commands in Bricks CAD and we have worked in a single plane but when you work in 3D you can work in six different planes you can work in left top front planes or right back bottom planes so let's start Bricks CAD now I'll click on modeling by clicking on this plus sign I can start a new drawing but below that, you are given options to choose the template. The default template is Imperial. As per Imperial template, you can access feet and inches. But I would like to draw in centimeters. So I'll click on Default Centimeters. And I'll click on this plus sign. Now the unit is set as centimeters. First of all, make sure that the look from widget is displayed at the upper right corner. If it is not displayed, you can give the look from command at the command prompt and you will get various options such as on, off, settings or cancel. If you just click on off, this widget will get turned off. Now I'll give a look from command again by giving an enter, then I'll turn it on. Next I'll generate an isometric view by clicking on a particular location in which the top front left is displayed. Now just click on that. And this view is a top front left isometric view. I took this view because the top front and left faces of this mechanical component is visible. Next I'll construct this profile which is on the left plane. Then I'll give an extrusion to create the surface. For that I have to first align the coordinate setup or UCS with the left face. You can easily do that by clicking on the visualize tab and click on the UCS command. Now we will get various options of this command. In this case I would like to align the UCS with the left face. So click on left. Now the UCS is aligned. Next I'll create this profile and perform an extrusion. All the required dimensions are given. We have the polyline available in the draw panel. So just click on polyline and I'll start from this point. I'll turn the ortho mode on and I'll give a value of 50. I'll move 30 unit rightward because that is the distance. I'll type 30 then straight up 15 then 10 rightward then 15 downward then 10 rightward then 5 upward then I'll move 25 rightward then 10 upward then I'll give an enter to exit from the polyline command sometimes if you draw a polyline if it has gone outside the screen you can just double tap the scroll wheel to get a maximum magnification so that it will come well within the screen Next, I'll continue from this end point. So polyline again. From here, 35 rightward. Then 20 downward. 25 rightward. And I'll connect with this end point. Now before you extrude this profile, you have to join these profiles to a single object. For that, I'll give p edit command. You can type PE for P edit. Pick this particular object. Then here you have a join option. Now you can make use of any of the object selection methods to join. So I'll go for a standard window. So just click here and drag to specify the opposite corner and give an enter. Now it's converted as a single profile. Now I'm going to extrude this profile. In order to perform this extrusion, I'm going to make use of the quad menu 
Just make sure that the quad option is active in the status bar. Quad is a remarkable feature which is specific to Bricks CAD. In order to get the quad menu, you have to take the cursor onto a particular entity. Now you will see the most recently performed operation appearing in the quad menu. When you take the cursor onto this option, the quad will get expanded and uh, here you will see a number of commands and you will also get sub panels in the quad for example modeling panel you have draw panel modify panel etc when you take the cursor onto each of these panels you will get a number of commands that can be performed on this entity and hence you can perform all these commands with a fewer number of clicks now i'm going to extrude the polyline profile using the extrude command in the quad menu so just click on solid extrude option now it'll ask you for the height of extrusion i'll give 60. now it's extruded next i'll create a rectangle with a dimension of 30 by 20 on this top face then i'll extrude and subtract to create a cutout here so i'll click on the rectangle command when you take the cursor onto the top face, that particular face will get highlighted and the UCS will also get aligned automatically. Now you can just make a click there. Now you have to specify the dimensions. Here the length is 30 and the width is 20. So I'll type 30. Then you press the tab key to access the next dimension which is 20. Next, I have to move and align this rectangle with respect to this face in the right location. For that, I'll take the cursor onto this rectangle and here you can see move option and you just click on the move command and you have to select this midpoint as the base point. So only the end point is snapped. So what you can do is take the cursor onto the entity snap option in the status bar, just right click go to settings and make sure that the midpoint is also active now you can close the settings dialog box click the base point as this midpoint and mid of this edge as the second point now it is properly positioned next i'll take the cursor onto this rectangle now you have the quad with move as the first command appearing now take the cursor onto this move now you will see the quad getting expanded here you have the modeling option and you can see extrude click on extrude and all you have to do is just pick a point right underneath exactly at the midpoint of this edge now it has performed an extrusion as well as subtraction now you can change the visual style and take a look on the subject so i'll click on the properties button and now you have the properties panel and here you have a visual style option you can change it to shaded with edges hold on the shift key and the scroll wheel of the mouse and you can orbit around the model to visualize it next we will dimension this figure i would like to keep all the dimensions in a separate layer so i'll click on the layer button in the tool panel on the right side so i'll get the layer panel and I would like to create a new layer called dimensions. So I'll click on the new icon at the upper left corner of the layer panel. And here I'll type the layer name as dimensions. And I'll assign a particular color for the dimensions layer. For that, I'll drag the layer panel leftward to see the layer properties. Now you can see the properties such as color, line type, line weight, transparency, etc. So I'll click on the white color which is the default color and I'll choose this particular color as the layer color and I'll give OK. Now I'll drag the layer panel rightward to reduce its size. Next I would like to keep the dimension layer as the current layer. So I'll click over here to make this layer as the current layer. You can also get the layer information from the toolbar. When you click over here you can see that the dimension layer is the current layer. You can also turn off and on layers, freeze layers, lock and control the print status of layers using the corresponding controls in the toolbar. The dimensioning in BricsCAD is made very easy. All you have to do is 
just click on the annotate tab and click on the linear dimensions suppose if you want to dimension this particular edge just take the cursor onto a face which shares that edge and that face will get highlighted and the users will automatically reside there now click the first extension line origin and the second extension line origin and the dimension line location the dimension is automatically written and suppose if you want to dimension this particular edge you can repeat the same so i'll just give enter to repeat the linear dimension take the cursor onto this particular face and that face is highlighted first extension line second extension line and the dimension line location now i would like to plot another dimension here enter to repeat the dimensions highlight this face first extension line second extension line dimension line location i repeat the same sequence of steps for the rest of the dimensions Hence, you can see that the dimensioning in BricsCAD is made very easy. So that's all for now. In the next tutorial video, I'll explain the procedure to create 2D drawings from this 3D model and render this model by assigning various materials. Please hit the like button of this video if you liked it. Until I catch you in the next video, bye bye and take care.